am Mary Helen Wheeler, M-A-R-I-H-E-L-E-N-W-H-E-E-L-E-R. I'm a Gainesville resident, but I've been working on water issues with a variety of groups for the last 11 years. And so when I say we, um, I'll probably be talking about some of those groups. I just have returned from Oklahoma where I spent some time with my relatives there and we spent a great deal of time talking about, of course, the oil and gas industries and what the effect is having out there. Also, spent some time with my sister and brother who came in and met us there from Kentucky, who reported that the nuns there, the sisters of Loretta, the mother house, were able to block a gas pipeline coming through that part of Kentucky. So I've got those things in my head and so I wrote this so I would stay on track and, and not get too far off. We've been fighting to protect our fragile Florida environment since we got wind of the planned Sable Trail pipeline and are finding that our own state government is more interested in selling off our environmental assets than protecting them. I don't know if you know much about Florida politics, but we wrangle here. We in North Florida find ourselves not only defending our water and lands from the out-of-state energy corporations, but from insiders who much to gain from that sell-off as well. Grassroots conservationists and landowners have joined together to defend ourselves, to defend ourselves from our own governor and his appointed cabinet members, water district managers, and EPA. Our recourse then is to appeal to the federal government, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, to see through the greed and lack of foresight that would allow another giant pipe to carry natural gas through our wetlands of North Florida and South Georgia. Nationally, water is going to be a major concern. We've already seen what is happening along our coastlines and in Miami. Recently, the mayor of Miami was recorded saying that in the last five years, Miami has seen a sea rise of an inch a year. And why should he lie about that? Our governor refuses to acknowledge the effects that this changing weather pattern is having on our own state. We, the thinking and caring citizens who live and work close to the earth, can see with our own eyes what saltwater intrusion is doing in our state. Our state leaders have their eyes and ears closed and have had their mouths taped shut by a governor who will not allow the words climate change to be spoken. Water is a national concern and therefore should be monitored and protected by the government of the people. As for dealing with Spectra and Duke Energy, corporate domination will be a major issue for Florida as the dredging of the Miami ports and the Panama Canal open up our waterways to giant taker, tankers waiting to be filled with natural gas that Duke Energy has already admitted it does not need. With the boom and bust market, what we see currently affecting the gas and oil industry, we can only imagine that with prices dropping, so will the commitment of such pipeline companies to build and properly maintain those pipelines. The Wall Street Journal published an article on September 29th discussing the merging of pipeline giants to minimize any more loss to their companies. In the article written by Allison Sider, natural gas prices have remained low. The price of the oil companies also transport has tumbled and the outlook for growth in the pipeline industry has dimmed, continuing. The price of a barrel of oil was hovering at about $60 in June, but has since fallen to about $45. Natural gas prices have dropped to $270 from over $3. Companies that drill for oil and gas have been cutting back, leading to declines in production as well as widespread layoffs at oil field services companies. And finally, the article stated that a prolonged downturn would call into question the need for more infrastructure. We're not willing to trade our local environmental economy for this kind of corporate speculation. There has been no evidence offered to any of us that this Sable Trail pipeline will serve anyone but the corporations who gamble with the future of Florida. We absolutely oppose the building of Sable Trail pipeline and are asking the federal government instead to declare our springs and wetlands as a natural heritage site to be protected for the use and well-being of future generations who will require the waters needed to sustain our lives and livelihood. Thank you.